I am pleased to send this video message in support of the initiative Global Watch Say No to Racism and Discrimination in All Sport. This is an important cause. We do indeed need to mobilize global support around the world to combat racism in sport and to establish effective global and national mechanisms. Since its uh, inception, the United Nations has made it a priority to focus on combating racism and discrimination in all its forms, in all spheres of life, everywhere. Today, we have a body of international laws and agreements, as well as national legislation to prohibit racism and discrimination. In the past 25 years, apartheid has collapsed alongside the myth of racial superiority, which was used to justify it. States have passed legislation, established mechanisms, signed international treaties, and adopted resolutions against racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia, and related intolerance. And yet, racism continues to manifest in new ways across the world. The lesson that we learned from the struggle against apartheid is that international and multi-stakeholder partnership is an imperative. Combating racism is the responsibility of us all, not only governments. This underlines the strength and pull of the Global Watch Initiative, spearheaded by the Sex Waller Family Foundation. The goals of uh, Global Watch complement the work of the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights in addressing racism in sports. In uh, 2012, my office brought together high-level administrators and organizing bodies to discuss how best to fight racism in football. Since then, we have focused on mobilizing international support to combat racism in sport using the intergovernmental mechanisms and multilateral forum provided by the United Nations. Today, my office is represented in the FIFA Task Force Against Racism and Discrimination. We have been invited to the Doha Goals Forum, and we work closely with the Union of European associations, UEFA, on various initiatives aimed at addressing racism in football in Europe. The true values of sport include teamwork, loyalty, self-discipline, and merit. They are generous-hearted, inclusive, and fundamentally multicultural. These are standards that we can build on to change social attitudes and fight racism. As the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, I applaud the work of this Global Watch project. It is another important and I hope inspirational step forward in the global effort to combat discrimination of all kinds. My office stands ready to accompany you in implementing this initiative. I wish you success as you take up this challenge.